a number of people are working on the most challenging part of this plan, delivering a million tons of sulfur about 30 kilometers into the sky. I managed to schedule a meeting in between flights with the only guy in the world who has analyzed every option. That sounds good. When someone tells you they want to put a million metric tons or, uh, or a million tons of uh, something up into the atmosphere, that's sort of a difficult number to really visualize. Aerospace engineer Justin McClellan has spent the better part of a year trying to figure it out. Uh, so the goal of the study was first to determine the feasibility. So not saying will it work, but saying can this be done? Can, this, can it even be done? I mean, and, and then attaching a price to that. The first thing McClellan and his team looked at was a really big gun. The idea is simple. Point a large caliber naval gun with SO2 filled projectiles into the sky and pull the trigger. As the projectile hits the target altitude of about 30,000 meters, eject the payload before the shell falls back to Earth. The problem is, it would take 14 million shots a year. Hundreds of guns firing every few seconds, day in and day out. The gunpowder alone would cost about 75 billion euros per year. But there's a futuristic gun that could deliver sulfur dioxide to the stratosphere for less. Our crew has been allowed a rare glimpse inside the Naval Surface Warfare Center in Dahlgren, Virginia, to see a brand new long-range weapon called the electromagnetic railgun. You can forget about the price of gunpowder. This gun uses electricity. It strips away when the, when the Rear Admiral Nevin Carr thinks it's going to revolutionize naval warfare. We can throw a projectile out of a gun like this about 200 nautical miles. It's much farther than any gun can shoot today in the U.S. Navy. But you don't just plug the railgun into a wall socket. First, a bank of capacitors is charged up with 11,000 volts of electricity. To fire the gun, all that stored energy is dumped at once, like a camera flash. This massive pulse of power generates an electromagnetic field in the gun, accelerating the projectile from zero to Mach 7 in the blink of an eye. For today's test, the team will fire a five kilogram projectile. Once it's loaded, we go to high alert. This warehouse is about to become a supercharged electric powder keg. All right, two barrels, video. Ready. Waiting for instrumentation. Ready. Now, as we stand right now, everybody's been cleared out of the other room where the railgun is. That's right. There's, there's no personnel behind the fence right now. Team member Vanessa Lent talks me through the firing sequence. All stations, going to high power. Time to see what this thing can do. Our voltage is on. Four KV. 4,000 volts are going to go to 11,000 volts. Right. The capacitors slowly draw energy from the power grid. It makes me wonder how much coal is being burned back in West Virginia to charge this thing. 7 KV. The Navy thinks this is the future of naval warfare. Enabling. But could it launch enough sulfur into the sky to guarantee the future of the planet? Three, two, one, fire. The sound of 11,000 volts of electricity is deafening. The projectile explodes out of the barrel at over 8,000 kilometers per hour. It's mind-bending, futuristic stuff. 